that irises are the most beautiful flowers but they're quite fussy plants and I've certainly lost a few over the years. Here we're going to have a look at how to keep your irises in brilliant flowering form every single year. And I'm talking to Matt Jackson, garden consultant with Land and Heritage. These irises, which um, are in the beds in the Culpeper Garden at Leeds Castle, have been surrounded by pea gravel. Because they're very, very shallow rooted, and because they like sitting with their tubers out in the sun, um, it keeps them baked dry, it keeps them freely drained and it stops slugs and things munching at them. They don't like it therefore when they're underneath a layer of mulch or leaf litter in the border. Um, so what we try to do um, is we identify a nice patch of the irises and surround them with the gravel which has several really good purposes. One, there are a number of little pests and bugs that don't like being in gravel or climbing across it because they can't so freely get to things. Um, fine sort of horticultural grit is also quite good for this purpose. Um, also, um, it keeps the drainage good around the tubers and the shallow roots um, which are on the surface. In fact, you could... So it keeps the drainage good, um, it keeps them hot and in the sun. But it also has the added advantage that when you're hoeing through the border and doing various bits of work and maintenance, um, your eye is constantly aware of the fact that the irises are here and you don't want to hoe through the roots and chop them all off. So it keeps them in, you know, really tip-top form and shape and they will stand a far better chance of succeeding if you take that approach. When... Um, the rest of the border starts uh, to wake up. We can already see bulbs coming through at the back. There, there's a, a rose having a winter rest just here. Um, there will be herbaceous things all the way around. Um, so the gravel kind of disappears into the general life and busyness of the bed. And you don't see it. You don't see it also because of the foliage from um, the irises being much fuller. Um, so it's... Um, you know, it's, it, it, it blends in very well indeed. Thank you, Matt. I'm going to go out and clear around my irises now and then add pea gravel around the rhizomes or roots. I should probably have done it a few months ago, but it'll help at any time of year. If it's your first time here, do subscribe. There are links in the description below, plus a link to Matt Jackson and Land and Heritage. We'll do gardening tips and reviews every Wednesday and garden ideas and real gardens on Saturdays. And if you have any gardening problems you'd like me to cover, please do leave a comment below. Thank you.